speaking here about the universal objective. A universal objective is something which fits every human being. It is not something which fits some people and doesn't fit some other people. That's not a universal objective. Let's say getting a degree is an objective for some people. Can we say that this is a universal objective? <coughs> there are many people who, who will never get an opportunity to study. Let's say for instance, to build a palace, a house, is an objective for some people. Is this a universal? There are many people who didn't even see a house, didn't see a palace in their life. For some people, eating and drinking is an objective. There are many people who didn't see a table in their life. He passed away from this world as the Prophet ﷺ passed away, Aisha radiallahu anha says that the Prophet ﷺ passed away from this world without seeing a table filled with food in front of him. He didn't see it in his life. Forget about eating and drinking and all those details. He didn't even see that table. So a universal objective is something which fits every human being. And that's why you read the Quran you see that Almighty Allah, when He speaks about objective of the creation, He says, قُلْ إِنَّ صَلَاتِ وَنُسُكِ وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ That my prayer, my sacrifices, my life and my death, everything is for none except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.